This map shows the main water pathways on the property. The blue with arrows running down are showing the main water pathways of this property. They don't run yearly or seasonally, but brown lines show the contour, unique contour areas of the property. This is an eight degree slope running northwest. There's a 15 acre catchment up above the property. This is showing the ridge line above the property. This is the property below. This roadway here is the access into the property, into the house site, right here. The red is the access way into the property and into other areas of the property. This map shows the sectors of energy that you do and do not want. The red shows what we don't want. Dominant west-southwest winds. Don't want any frost to collect around the living area. Don't want winter winds blowing on the property. Things that we do want are the views to the northeast and views to the southwest. And an earth bank microclimate solar collection area behind the property. There are a lot of lava rock on the property and they can be gathered and created as an earth bank. This map shows all the zones of the property and all the various grazing paddocks and the dams. These are the key points of the property here and here and they have dam sites right here and here but they are very rocky full of lava rock so it would take quite a bit of material to build them but I'm showing them anyway. This is a ridge point dam, ridge contour dam. These are lower valley dams. These are large areas for valley dams. Again, there's quite a lot of rock, so it may take quite a lot of material to build this dam and this dam. So we may be better off building lots of various ponds, but I'm showing them as dams. The numbers are the zones. Um, instead of trying to highlight everything, they're just showing the zones around your living area. Zone two, three, etc., five. This highlighted area is a paddock paradise. Jamie Jackson Paddock Paradise. It's a way of managing horses. You put water in one area and the concept is to have the horses constantly moving. Size it appropriate, appropriately for how many horses you intend to have. And they continuously move through the system instead of trying to keep them in a field or needing to move them around from field to field. This encourages them to move from one area to another area, another area to another area.